Uh, last year, I was on a twin-engine plane coming from Milwaukee to New York City. And just over LaGuardia, one of the engines conked out, and we started to drop straight down, flipping over and over. Then the other engine died, and we went completely out of control. New York City started to get taller and taller. A voice came over the intercom and said, Our pilot has informed us that we are about to attempt a crash landing. Please extinguish all cigarettes, place your tray tables in their upright locked position. Your captain says, please do not panic. Your captain says, place your head in your hands. Your captain says, put your hands on your knees. Captain says, put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your knees. <laughs> this is your captain. Have you lost your dog? We are going down. We are all going down together. As it turned out, we were caught <coughs> in a downdraft and rammed into a bank. It was, in short, a miracle. But afterwards, I was terrified of getting onto planes, and I'd always have to find one of the other passengers to talk to. You can spot these people immediately. There's one on every flight. Someone who's really on your wavelength. I was on a flight from L.A. when I spotted one of them sitting across the aisle. A girl, about 15, and she had this stuffed rabbit set up on her tray table, and she kept arranging and rearranging the rabbit and kind of waving to it. Hi. Hi there. And I thought, this is the one I want to sit next to. So I sat down and we started to talk and suddenly I realized she was speaking an entirely different language. Computerese, a kind of a high-tech lingo. Everything was circuitry, electronics, switching. We talked mostly about her boyfriend and this guy was never in a bad mood. He was in a bad mood moody kind of a guy. But the romance was apparently kind of rocky, and she kept saying, man, oh man, you know, like, oh man, it's so digital. And she just meant the relationship was on again, off again, always two things, switching. Current runs through bodies, and then it doesn't. It was a language of sound of noise, of switching, of signals. It was the language of the rabbit, the caribou, the penguin, the beaver, a language of the past. Current runs through bodies, and then it doesn't. On again, off again, always two things switching one thing instantly replacing another. It was the language of the future. Put your knees up to your chins. Have you lost your dog? There is no.